Donald Trump said he did not view white nationalism as a rising threat around the world, as New Zealand is reeling from a white supremacist attack on two mosques that killed 49 people. Asked by a reporter on Friday if he saw an increase globally in the threat of white nationalism, the U.S. president responded, I don't really. I think it's a small group of people that have very, very serious problems. I guess, if you look at what happened in New Zealand, perhaps that's a case. I don't know enough about it yet. There have been more than a dozen deadly white supremacist attacks across the globe in the last eight years. In Norway in 2011, 77 people were killed in a bomb attack and shooting that targeted a youth camp of the country's Labour Party. The shooter said he wanted to prevent an invasion of Muslims. A shooter with anti Muslim views killed six people during evening prayers at a Quebec City mosque in 2017. The gunman said he feared refugees would kill his family. Later that year, in London's Finsbury Park, a man shouting, I want to kill all Muslims, drove a van into worshippers outside a mosque, killing one and injuring 12 others. In the U.S., violence by far-right attackers has surged since Trump took office. There has been a documented rise in anti-Muslim hate groups in the country in the last three years, and the FBI has reported a steady increase in reports of hate crimes. Last year, a shooter with far-right views killed 11 people at a Pittsburgh synagogue. The suspected perpetrator of the massacre during Friday prayers in New Zealand had posted online before the attack and displayed white supremacist symbols on his weapons during the killings. New Zealand's Prime Minister, Jacinda Ardern, described the carnage as one of the country's darkest days. Ardern told reporters on Saturday that she did not agree with Trump's assessment that white supremacy wasn't a growing problem. Ardern also said she had spoken to Trump following the attack in Christchurch. Responding to a question from the president about what he could do after the attack, she asked him to show all Muslim communities sympathy and love. He acknowledged that and agreed, Ardern said. Ardern said she and Trump had not discussed reports that the suspect, Brenton Tarrant, had mentioned the president in an anti Muslim manifesto he posted online before the attacks. Trump made the remarks about white supremacy at the Oval Office while announcing his decision to overrule Congress in his effort to protect his declaration of a national emergency and secure funds for a U.S.-Mexico border wall. Announcing his veto, the president said, people hate the word invasion, but that's what it is. Trump's claims about immigration trends and an invasion are similarly unsupported by facts. Unauthorized border crossings have declined dramatically since record highs in the early years of the 21st century. Trump, who proposed a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the U.S. during his 2015 campaign, has a history of sparking widespread criticisms for his response to far-right violence. In 2017, He said there were very fine people on both sides after a deadly white supremacist rally in Charlottesville, Virginia.